Well, with less than a week until Georgia primary voters narrow down the candidates in the gubernatorial race, our exclusive 11 Alive poll conducted by Survey USA now shows Lieutenant Governor Casey Cagle leading the Republican field by not enough to avoid a July runoff. All five candidates will spend these final days attempting to court those 27 percent of undecided voters. Now, on the Democratic side, Stacey Evans trails her competitor, Stacey Abrams, but a third of the people that we polled say they are still undecided. All week, we've been profiling the top five candidates on both sides working to try to get your vote. And tonight, Doug Richards takes a look at Stacey Evans and her unusual path to statewide candidacy. Hi. I'm good, thanks. Stacey Evans. Stacey Evans works a room with the ease of a veteran politician. No substitute for hard work. She spent six years in the Georgia legislature and might have steered clear of the governor's race had another candidate chosen to run. I called Jason Carter in the morning. We went to law school together. I've known him forever. I called him in the morning after Hillary lost. And I Andrew Evans is Stacey Evans' husband. Jason Carter was the Democrat who ran for governor and lost four years ago. And I said, Jason, you got to run again because this is your time, because we finally will have the momentum behind us nationally. Jason Carter, however, declined to run again in 2018. Last year, as Republican Donald Trump ascended to the White House, Stacey Evans attended a fellowship in Europe. Got to pick up some more legislative seats, but we got to get in that governor's office. She stayed gone for over a month, and there she decided to run for governor of Georgia. She phoned her husband from Europe. She called me, and then she called some other people, and then she called me again. Are we sure we're going to do this? And what was the look on your face when Stacey first told you while calling you from Europe? <laughs> Is this on? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the, um, well, it's, it's, it's something, I mean, initially, initially it was my idea. Now with Evans facing voters next week, the family is all in on the Stacey Evans candidacy. This includes the candidate's mother, who is among the independent voters valued by all politicians. My mom voted for Trump. Mimi did, right? Yeah. And um, I think she, uh, she did it out of desperation and she didn't feel like um, anyone was speaking to her. Stacey Evans has been the underdog in the Democratic primary, facing Stacey Abrams, who has had more national star power. Evans thinks the Democrat who wins Tuesday will be able to flip the Republican-led state in November. And now we just have to take advantage of this great climate that's available for Democrats to win. Is it your job to gird the family in case Election Day doesn't go the way you want it to? We are planning a trip for a week right after the election. Got to turn the state blue. Hopeful, Andrew Evans says it will be a celebratory one. Doug Richards, 11 Alive News.